Well, good morning, everybody. This is Explorer 867. Today's the first day of the rest of your life, so get out and enjoy it. Today, I wanted to share with you just a little bit of an upgrade that I did in my battery compartment in the camper uh, canopy or camp camper topper. And uh, what I did is I put in a shutoff switch so that I can kill the solar panel uh, and uh, be able then to uh, work on the charge controller or the battery. So let's go on inside and I'll show you what I've done. Okay, so now I have the, the new wire harness all uh, put together. It's, it's ready to be assembled into the, uh, into the battery box. And uh, <clears throat> you can see uh, here, this is the new shutoff switch. So I can turn the panel off overhead uh, and work on the battery system, uh, work on the charge controller here if I need to. Uh, it's a disconnect for the solar panel up overhead. Okay, this is a look-see down into the battery compartment now. And uh, what I've done, let's go on down here and take a look. So I've put on new uh, terminals on the wires here. Ran new wire to the uh, charge controller here and to the MC4 connectors down here. So this is the uh, tool kit that I purchased to build those MC4 connections in the uh, battery box there. And uh, I'll just open up one of these and show you what comes with the kit. So uh, in the kit you get uh, one, two, three, four, five, six of these MC4 connections. You get the wrench that you can use to tighten the fittings down after you use this tool. Uh, it's a crimp tool to crimp the, uh, the ends here onto the wire. <clears throat> This does a really good job. Makes a very tight connection. Okay, I'm gonna press a MC4 on here. Actually, what I did, I cheated. I've already pressed this end on. Um, they look like this when you start. And uh, then you have a tool here. And you slide the this piece down into that hole and then take it and squeeze it in tight and it gives you this fitting here. So, and it's real tight so that what you'd wanna do when you're done is just tug on it, make sure it's gonna be okay. And it is, it's holding on good. So this is the piece that we're gonna put on. Okay. So you wanna make sure you slide these down here like a yay and then this piece slides on here and just push it back as far as it'll go and you can see your fingers here corresponding with this rubber seal here makes it uh, water waterproof so go ahead and put that back on there like so and this piece, the nut screws on here, like that. And what we'll do is we'll take these wrenches, you've gotta have the wrenches to do this. Um, this one obviously goes over the nut here, like that. And then the oblong one goes uh, like a so, over that end of the MC4. <clears throat> and then you just simply are screwing it on you want to you want to run your nut on and as you put this nut on and when it starts coming tight you'll hear one click and then you'll hear a second click after the second click you know you're you're done you know it's snug that's one that's two so you know you're you're plenty tight enough at that point anyway uh, so I ran new wire for that and just uh, organized it here onto the wall, anchored everything down. 
And then uh, the whole real thrust in doing this project was this uh, on off switch here. What this enables me to do is uh, this is the power that comes in from the line that comes in from the solar panels and runs in through this switch and then runs on over to the charge controller here. So what this enables me to do is to, if I want to take the battery out, uh, what I can do is turn the solar panel off here, just turn that switch. That shuts the power off from the solar panel to the charge controller, the blue box there. And uh, likewise, then I can reach down, turn it back on uh, when I'm done. If you remove the battery, um, disconnect the terminals from the battery with power coming in from your solar panel, that will destroy your expensive charge controller here. So this way I can work on the battery system uh, without having to worry about any issues with that. This is Explorer 867. Thanks a lot for coming along on the video today. Hope you got uh, just some ideas of what you can do if you want to put in a shutoff switch for your solar panels in your system. Gives you an idea of how to do that. Um, so if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Ring the bell. You get the latest content from the channel as I release it. Put us out on your social media. Let others know that we're out here. Much appreciated there just as well. And uh, as always, I look forward to seeing you in the great outdoors. You guys take care now. Bye-bye.